منهج السلف صالح لكل زمان ومكان نور من الله عز وجل نور من الله عز وجل This reminds me of a situation that I seen one time in uh, al-masjid in Nabawi يعني الشيء بالشيء يذكر mention of one thing leads to another there is this one individual in al-masjid in Nabawi and I, and I don't know him but I know him I don't know him personally but I know this person's face and uh, how do I know him? Because sometimes, especially in the time after Hajj and the likes, the opportunity to make Umrah will be closed for the world, except for the people who live in the, the Gulf. And the Masjid al Nabawi will be very empty for several months. And likewise, the Masjid al Haram, it'll be very empty. There are several months out of the year that the Masjid al-Nabawi is empty after Hajj for several months nobody comes in from outside and the Masjid is empty and you can move around freely and there's lots of space and it's a very beautiful time to be in uh, al Masjid al-Nabawi and also a beautiful time to be in Mecca when we're students we will be there at that time Alhamdulillah we'll be there at that time Alhamdulillah for years so sometimes at this time it's an easy opportunity to try to pray close and he, to the Imam. Otherwise, you pray behind, especially in the times whenever there's classes. You pray where the class is. Sheikh Abdul Muslim's class is far in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the corner of the masjid. And Sheikh Suleiman's chair, likewise, was further away. And in the, in, in the middle, the back of the masjid, likewise. Sometimes even in the same chair. Sheikh Abdul Razak's class, likewise. The, 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 their chairs are further away from the, from the mimbar. So sometimes, if there are no classes, we'll get opportunity. And we'll try to pray in the rawdah. Or we will go to the front and pray close. And uh, I've tried to pray in the front row. And I never have prayed in the front row. At the time, whenever I would go to the front of the masjid, I would always see this person. And this man, he always prays in the front row. Every time in my life, I've seen him many times. And every time I've seen him, he's praying in the front row in the Prophet's masjid, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not far on the right side of the imam. And the man, he's handicapped. This man, I know him because he's handicapped. His walk is, is not good. He walks and it's very clear that he's handicapped, but his mind is there. And also whenever he talks, he can't talk uh, clearly either. And I've seen him many, many times in the same place in the front row in the Prophet's Masjid. I, I used to ask myself, SubhanAllah, how is this guy? He's always here. Every time I, if I come to the front, in the front of the Masjid and try to pray close to the Imam, I see that man. I used to think it was amazing, SubhanAllah. The point is this man here, he loves the prayer. He's always in the Masjid before everybody else. Obviously, to get to be in the front row in the Prophet's Masjid, you have to strive hard. You have to strive hard to be on the front row. You have to come very early. Some people will stay the night there trying to trying to get in the front row. Or come there as soon as the gates open if it's possible. And, and try to rush to get to the front row. This brother here, he's always there. Sometimes whenever the masjid is full, the ranks, they'll go all through the side and they'll go out the doors. And we'll be praying on the, on the, on the area out the doors. Yani outside, it's called the saha and the courtyard. But the ranks are connected behind the imam all the way out the doors. And one time I was praying on that row outside. And it was almost the iqama. And I seen from a distance that brother. That brother, that handicapped brother. He's coming. He's rushing. He's coming towards me. And he took to come to the rank. And then uh, it was almost the iqama. It was almost the iqama and he's coming. He's moving and he kind of quickly. But it's hard for him because he's handicapped. And he's handicapped. The akama was started, and and, and whenever the akama started, he, he fell down, and he started crying. Subhanallah, he fell down. He started crying, and he's crawling. Well, I have seen it with my eyes. I seen it with my eyes. He's crying because he missed the akama. He's handicapped. His voice, he can't speak clearly. His leg, he can't walk properly. But wallah, he was always in the first row. SubhanAllah, was an amazing affair. And his coming, whenever they made the akama, he, he can't hold himself no more. He missed the akama, subhanAllah. And he fell down and he started crying. And for, like, he's probably maybe 20, 30 feet in front of me. I watched him and he crawled and he got back up and then he came and he joined the rank and he was very sad. He was very sad. SubhanAllah. These are examples of people who have iman in their heart. They believe. 
they believe in the reward. They'll come to the prayer even if they're crawling. They'll come to the prayer even if they're crawling. They'll flee from the punishment of Allah even if they're crawling. Allahu Akbar.